Figure 8 sternal closure system is revolutionary, simple, and provides a stronger and more stable construct that results in less cut-through than traditional steel wire circlage. This stainless steel strap comes in a single or X configuration and may be used in conjunction with or as a replacement for standard steel wire. The strap has a sequentially widening body to make delivery easier. It has a rotating central hub to facilitate placement and a laser welded security box which is able to withstand greater than 300 pounds of force. A clamp may be placed on the strap between the round hub and security box in order to manage the loose end of the device. The figure 8 strap is applied to the sternum in much the same way as standard steel wire. The needle may be delivered in a transsternal or parasternal fashion into the far sternal half. Be careful not to twist the strap as it passes through the tissue. The device is then pulled in a strong but smooth fashion through the tissue until the hub is approximately 3 to 5 centimetres above the tissue. Pulling the hub to this distance will make tensioning the strap easier. The strap is then supported in its arc and the needle is prepared to pass through the near sternal half. It is important to support the strap which lies between the sternal halves, so it does not twist as the strap is pulled through the near side. Once the device has been delivered, the needle may be cut off near its attachment to the device. Then, the end of the strap is placed through the security box and a clamp is placed at the tip to control the strap. The above process is repeated until the number of desired straps have been placed. Again, it's recommended that a clamp be placed on the strap area between the round hub and security box in order to manage the loose end of the device. A needle driver is placed on each needle prior to placement of the X device. Start with the cephalad needle and place it in a para or transsternal fashion through the far sternal half. Do not pull it through to the hub. The needle is secured and attention is then given to the second needle or caudal needle. This needle is placed below the previous needle entry point on the far sternal half. Once it is through, both needle drivers are pulled at the same time to deliver the X hub to 3 to 5 centimetres above the sternal tissue. The cephalad needle and strap are protected, and the caudal needle is passed through the near sternal half in a more cephalad position on the sternum. Then the cephalad needle is placed in a more caudal position on the near sternal half thus crossing the straps. Do not twist the straps while performing this placement as it will prevent tightening of the straps. Once both straps are through the near sternal half, the needles are cut off near their origin. Then the straps are passed through the appropriate security box. The strap and security box should match up in alignment. Once the straps have been placed in the desired configuration and quantity, they are tightened with the custom figure 8 tensioning tool. To properly use the tensioning tool, start with the straps at the centre of the sternum. The security box is gently pushed down the strap to make room for the tool. The clamp at the end of the strap is controlled with one hand as the tool is placed onto the strap. The tensioning tool is kept at the security box and the strap is placed in the tensioning mechanism. By keeping your hand together and in alignment, the strap will remain in the mechanism. The tool handle is ratcheted repeatedly until the strap begins to tighten on the sternum, bringing the two halves together. It is important to keep the tool at a low angle of operation while tightening the strap. This will allow the strap to come out of the box smoothly. If the tool is placed at an angle greater than 90 degrees while tensioning, the tool will stop working due to a built-in release that prevents damage to the strap. If the tool release is activated, the tool can be reset by pushing the tensioning handle forward and re-engaging the mechanism. By adjusting your hand position, the strap tool interface will experience lower force and remain functional. When the sternal halves nearly touch, then the strap is brought up to 90 degrees and the tool is removed from the strap. This action holds the tension on the sternum while attention is given to the other straps. This method serves to distribute the force of closure across the sternum 
much like tightening the lug nuts on a wheel. Attention is then given to the manubrium, where the figure eight devices are tightened. On these devices, you may tighten them to the desired position and final tightness. Once you have reached approximation of the sternal halves, the strap is bent to 90 degrees and left alone until all straps have been tightened. Once all straps have been tightened, return to the initial central sternal strap and tighten until fully approximated, then bend to 90 degrees. At this point, the closure is reversible by simply bending the straps back down to zero degrees and loosening. When satisfied with the closure, the final security is performed. The tool is re-engaged with the strap and, without any tension on the strap, the strap is turned 120 degrees. All the straps should be twisted in sequential order and cut with an 8mm to 1cm tail. Finally, the tail is bent in half and pinched with a regular needle driver and gently bent down to hide within the tissue. To remove the figure eight sternal closure device, you simply apply wire cutters vertically and straight down on the strap at the point where it connects at the hub. This is on the opposite side of the hub from the security box. Snip the strap with the wire cutters and pull on the hub to remove. Be sure not to cut the strap between the hub and the security box. The figure eight sternal closure system. Revolutionary, simple, stronger. For more information, visit figure8surgical.com.